and greetings from Belfast in Northern Ireland. Uh, I'm excited to be here. I don't know a lot about Belfast other than what I saw in the news growing up, a lot of violence and strife. Behind me is the uh, Peace Wall, which separates the uh, Protestant neighborhoods from the Catholic neighborhoods, set up as kind of a monument to the peace process. And uh, Belfast has been at relative peace for quite a while, so I'm excited to explore the town and see what it has to offer besides what I've seen in the news. Now we're clearly in a uh, Protestant area. There's lots of uh, British flags, more British flags, I think, than if I were in England. Uh, so it's interesting. I'm gonna, from here, I'm gonna head into the city center and there's a bunch of great sites there. Well, I'm in the central part of Belfast, an area called the Cathedral Quarter. So I'm gonna see if I can try to find something to eat. I'm getting hungry before I see the rest of the sights. Well, that was a really good meal. Uh, I really love Guinness here. Guinness is not as good in the United States. I don't know if it doesn't travel well, but if you ever come to Ireland, I'd recommend giving it a try. It's, it's kind of an acquired taste, but I like it. Uh, so now I'm headed off. I'm gonna head to the Titanic Museum, which I'm not really a big Titanic fan, but everyone, when I said I'm coming to Belfast, I said, oh, you have to go to the Titanic Museum. So I'm gonna go give it a shot. along the waterfront is called the uh, Maritime Mile. Uh, Belfast has a great uh, maritime history, a lot of shipbuilding is next to where the Titanic was built. And so the Titanic Museum is on the site of where the Titanic was built. Uh, so really interesting uh, and kind of a beautiful walk along the river. So I made it to the Titanic Museum, which you can see behind me. Beautiful building out here on the water. I'm excited to check it out. big museum guy but it's very interesting worth saying there was no uh, video recording allowed in there so I took some still shots so I'll show those here so now I'm out here where the Titanic was uh, built and launched you can see how big it is stretches on for a long time. So the ticket to the Titanic Museum also gives you uh, free admission to the nomadic ship here uh, behind me, so I think I'll go check it out. So the nomadic was a uh, Titanic's tender ship, so it was used to support and supply the Titanic, bring supplies and people on and off the ship. So I'm gonna head on board. Well, they didn't allow video recording on the Nomadic either, so I'll leave some pictures here for you to see. Uh, 
Um, so now I'm gonna head back into town and see what trouble I can get up to. called Victoria Square in the center of Belfast and up at the very top is a place called the Dome so you get nice wraparound views of the whole city. It's an elevator up here I took the stairs <laughs> so I'm a little tired but definitely worth a trip up here. to the uh, Belfast Botanical Gardens uh, near the university here. Um, just thought I'd take a nice leisurely walk, very beautiful and peaceful here before I head back for the day. That's gonna be it for my time in Belfast. I'm gonna head out maybe to a pub, grab another Guinness, and head back to my hotel. Uh, next, I'm headed to Scotland. Uh, so lots of videos and adventures coming from there, so I hope you join me.